Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. This is my review from Monarch Legacy of Monsters, Episode 3. So this video will contain spoilers from Monarch Legacy and Monsters Episode 3, so if you've not seen the episode, go watch it and then come back, and yeah, let's just get straight into it. So if you saw my last review for Episodes 1 and 2 of Monarch Legacy and Monsters, you'll know that I thought the first two episodes were kind of slow, and didn't really get me that excited for the show moving forward. I thought the end of Episode 2 got me kind of excited, but um, overall it sort of moved kind of slow, and I um, wasn't feeling that engaged with some of the characters, you know, and some of the storylines, but um... So yeah, going into this episode, I was a little bit skeptical, but um, I gotta tell you, I enjoyed it. You know, I enjoyed it. I don't think I don't think it's great. I don't think it's terrific, but I enjoyed it. You know, there was some, there was some cool stuff, and I I had, I I liked it. I'll say that, and I'll definitely be watching next episode. Um, but yeah, this episode has some really cool stuff, and I gotta say, the budget on this show must be insane. I honestly don't know if it's even justified because I haven't seen many people talk about this show at all like on twitter or online or on youtube i have not seen many people talk about it and it's really a shame because you know just because of the the, the money that went into this the sheer amount of money is just it's 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 you know it's ginormous you know it's you know no pun intended but it's you know it's massive and so i'm just wondering how on earth apple would expect to make their money back by putting this much money into a streaming show i don't know I really, I have no clue. But anyway, let's actually talk about the episode. So, this episode, we see our characters in the past and the present. Our characters in the past, or, you know, so the same character in the past and the present, Lee Shaw. The um, Wyatt Russell version of Lee Shaw, and uh, Ke Keiko, and what's his name? Was it Ryan? No, that wasn't right. William, Billy, that's right, Billy, Billy. Um, we see um, Keiko, uh, Lee, and Billy um, request... Of like, how much was it? Like a hundred and... I don't even want to guess the number, but a lot of uranium, right? To try and att attract the monster because the monster feeds on radiation and obviously they need the uranium because of its uh, radiation level. So I hope I'm getting that right. I really do. Um, but yeah, so they need that and they ask like the military for backing and funding and they decide we're going to give them the uranium in the form of a nuclear bomb or I think it's a hydrogen bomb. I'm not sure they call it an H-bomb at some point. So I think it's a hydrogen bomb. But um... Yeah, so th that entire thing ensues on the beach with fucking Godzilla. Like, I just can't believe we're seeing, like, a fully-fledged, fully CGI'd um, Godzilla in a streaming show, by the way. It's just, it, it is crazy to me. But yeah, and he, got to, he gets fucking nuked. He gets nuked, and he, he obviously survives. Unless this is, like, a different Godzilla. Maybe there's multiple, which I'll fucking hope not, because that would just be so stupid. But um, he survives the nuke. He is um, obviously perfectly fine, but it's sort of played as if he dies, you know. Keiko is very upset and she's crying when the nuke goes off and, you know, things of that nature. But yeah, we end up learning that our um, characters in the past end up getting, like, major, major funding for the um, project that eventually leads to Keiko's death and when they're finding more of these titans and finding where they're from and finding how they live and stuff. So that, that'll be interesting to see. Um, and in our future, we see our main characters head to, where is it, like, uh, Antarctica or something, Alaska, I don't know exactly, to go and, um, find, what, I'm forgetting the character's name, I think Kate, and I'm forgetting the, the brother's name, to find Kate's dad, right, and they take, um, May with them, and then they have this new pilot guy with them, and Kurt Russell, I gotta say, Kurt Russell's doing a good job, he's always so great, but yeah, definitely the best parts of the show are Kurt Russell and Wyatt Russell, um, but yeah, that whole sequence in Antarctica, it's it Antarctica? I'm just going to say Antarctica, because I don't really know. This whole sequence in Antarctica was pretty great, by the way, i got to tell you. It was shot really beautifully. It ends on a massive cliffhanger, by the way. But um, yeah, we see this giant um, uh, Antarctic monster titan that can freeze things with its like mouth tentacles. And it's, you know, I'm very interested to see the different types of titans that we're going to see in this show. It just makes me wonder how many there are and how they've gone undetected for this long. The only ones they know about are Godzilla. Also, I'm curious to know where King Kong is. Is he even born at this point? I'm not that familiar with the, um, you know, monster, monsterverse lore, but, um, I know King Kong's a part of it. But anyway, um, so yeah, our main characters go to try and find their dad. They end up finding his hut or anything, and I think his, his hut... And they find a dead body, but they don't find his body or anything. And so I think he is still alive and we will get answers in later episodes. But yeah, I enjoyed the episode. I thought the plane sequence was cool. I thought the um, 
actors were good. Lee Shaw, and Kurt Russell, and Wyatt Russell. I thought the Godzilla scene was awesome where they fucking nuked him. Um, I think it shot really well. And yeah, I thought this episode was really, really good. And I, I, I enjoyed it and I had a good time. So yeah, um, that's it. I just wanted to give a quick brief review because there isn't that much to chew on this episode. I think next episode this will be a big one because of that cliffhanger. But yeah, that's it for my review of Monarch Legacy of Monsters, episode three. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It'd really help me out and I'd really appreciate it. Also, leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on the episode. Did you enjoy it? Did you not? Are you going to watch further? Are you going to keep watching the episodes? Let me know. That's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.